Hey, how can I help you? I have brought you in a creepy but cool Victorian era morning lithograph today. It's interesting. This was a common thing back in the late 1800s. It was the way people mourned. They would hang this creepy thing in their house. <laughs> <laughs> I came into the pawn shop today with my Victorian era morning lithograph. The lithograph is special because I did some research and actually found the person's gravestone still standing. I'm asking $400 for my lithograph today because my wife wants it out of the house. Well, it's definitely creepy. It all stemmed from Queen Victoria. When her husband died, she basically was in mourning like 40 years. And then basically, mourning became cool. There was rules on how you were supposed to mourn back then. Okay. When someone passed away, you were supposed to stop your clocks in the house. Wow. All the curtains were to be drawn for so many months. It was, it was a little macabre and depressing. And this would have been right in the middle of the living room or something like that. Mm -hmm. You were only supposed to hang it up for a certain period of time, then bring it down and bring the happiness back in the house. This lithograph looks really odd to us, but it was completely common to hang this on the wall back in the Victorian era. I mean, you also have to remember that in this time period, the average life expectancy was 40 years old. Death was way more common. How much are you looking to get out of it? $400. OK. I mean, I've seen like the really much more ornate ones go for some good money. This one, we have a tear in it. Even if this was worth $400, it would cost me $400 to get the tear repaired. The fact of the matter is, there's just no money here. You have no interest in this piece? Yeah, dude, no interest whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> have a nice day, man. Appreciate it. I was not able to reach a deal today. Uh, I'm not all that disappointed, but I'm sure my wife will be. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.